Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Ritu and today's session is about the success of Spardex mission. And this session is important for your GS3 perspective. Moving towards the points of discussion part. <music> So first of all, we are going to discuss the news and we are going to discuss about that what is docking. We already had done a video on the Spardex mission and there we had discussed about the docking and rendezvous system. So here we'll discuss that what is docking and what is the achievement, why this achievement is important. Then uh, we'll also trace the history of the docking experiment by different countries and why this particular docking experiment is important for India and uh, what is the ISRO is planning to do with this kind of experiment and then we are also going to have a brief discussion on Bharatiya docking system and then practice question problems. Before that you have to like, share and subscribe to this TIE's channel. Moving towards to the news part. So before moving to the news part our this TIE's NOIDA address is C171 oblique 2 block A Noida sector 15 Uttar Pradesh and nearest metro station is Noida sector 15. ISGS foundation course is available in both the mediums. So if you want to know more information about the classes, you can call on to the number 87501-87501. And in Karol Bagh, GS foundation course has started in English medium. So the date of the course is 28 January Tuesday by 11.30 am. So coming to the next one, the next one is about the news. So yesterday what we got a good news from the space world that India has uh, become a fourth country in the world which has successfully experimented the docking system and we can see the result that Spardex is into the space. So Indian Space Research Organization on Thursday morning successfully demonstrated space docking and here we'll discuss that what is docking in the latest slide and what we, here we can see that two small 220 kg satellites were brought within a distance of 3 meter from each other in orbit and their extended rings were joined with each other and retracted and locked upon so that's why it is called as docking and ISRO also demonstrated giving commands to two satellites as one composite object because they join together and the successful docking makes India the fourth country in the world and which are the other three countries who had achieved this feat earlier. So we have United States, Russia and China and now India. So here we'll discuss about the docking. So docking is a process of joining two fast moving spacecraft in an orbit. So in simple terms you can say that uh, two fast moving spacecraft or normal uh, also spacecraft in a space if they are joined together whether it's manually or autonomously. So this process is called as docking and why it is necessary because it is necessary to carry out the future missions and India is also planning to carry out various missions and uh, there are more things to lift in the space and one spacecraft is not uh, what you can say sufficient so we need uh, another spacecraft so that's why this is helpful for all those experiment and the capability is also needed to setting up a space station so that's why docking is relevant for the space world. So here we'll discuss about that when was the first docking in space achieved. So first it was achieved by the United States when there was a situation of the Cold War and United States and USSR both were fighting with each other and not just politically but also economically, culturally and also we can see that there was a fight for the space world also. So in that background the US in 1966, NASA Gemini 8 became the first spacecraft to dock with the target vehicle Agena. Gemini 8 was crewed mission orbiting the Earth commanded by the Neil Armstrong, who in 1969 became the first human to set foot on the moon. So, 
here this is very important question that nasa's gemini 8 became the first spacecraft to dock with the target vehicle agena so this is very much important and it was commanded by neil armstrong and we do not think that neil armstrong need any kind of introduction then later it has been done by the ussr currently russia because while the us mission has astronauts on board to steer the spacecraft the soviet union in 1967 demonstrated the first uncrewed automated docking of the Cosmos 186 and Cosmos 188 spacecraft. So, second one is done by the USSR and what's their name? Cosmos 186 and Cosmos 188. And later in 2011, China has demonstrated this thing and we can see that when Unmanned Sanju 8 spacecraft docked with the Tiangong 1 space laboratory. So, this is the unmanned and later China also demonstrated crewed one also and it had sent the uh, astronaut also where they manually joined the spacecraft Sanju 9 spacecraft to the same space laboratory. So, this is about the United States, USSR and China and right now India. So, you can see the timeline that this particular feat has been already achieved by United States in 1966, later in, uh, by USSR in 1967 and in China 2011 and in 2025 by India. So, coming to the next one which is about the India carried out its docking mission at this juncture. juncture. So, India is planning to establish its space station and the space station would be named as Bharti Antariksh Station by 2035 and India is also planning to send humans to the moon by 2040 and in all these things we need docking technology, we need docking experiment. So, that is why India has already uh, experimented this thing and what are the key initiatives include uh, developing a heavy lift, heavy lift launch vehicle. So, 30 tons to low earth orbit and mastering docking capabilities. So, uh, this is the uh, thing and this is the reason that India wants that we need to have these kind of skills, we need to have these kind of uh, space technology and space skills so that we can successfully implement in other future missions and the space uh, station will be constructed using 5 modules within the first robotic modules to be launched by 2028. So, these are the thing. Then also docking technology. So, docking technology is also crucial for Chandrayaan 4 and uh, Gaganyaan also and ISRO has already tested the hop technology during Chandrayaan 3 paving the way for the future human missions following the similar plan. So, what we can see that whatever the ISRO is planning, whatever it is planning for the different satellites, different moon, uh, sorry, uh, different satellites, different spacecraft, all planning and all technology, all skills are interlinked with each other. If you are experimenting one kind of technology into one kind of spacecraft or one kind of space mission, we are also using for it for the for future missions. So, what we can see that whatever the experiments, whatever the missions uh, is carried out by the ISRO, it is used by the other countries also and it can, it is becoming an example for the rest of the world that how the experiment is working into the space and how India is becoming a very much successful in the space arena. So, coming to the next one which is about the what is Bharti docking system because uh, this has been widely in use. So, this time India has not used the international docking system standards. India has used its own Bharti docking system and ISRO has employed androgynous docking mechanism. And what is this androgynous docking mechanism? So, where both this chaser and target satellites use identical system. So, this is androgynous system in which two spacecraft use the identical system. And what are the key technologies which is a feature of Bharti docking system. So, sensors. Uh, so, we had uh, implemented and applied laser range finder, rondo sensors, proximity and docking sensors for use to know the precise positioning and measurements. 
we had also applied different processes. So, a new processor leveraging satellite navigation system determined relative position and velocity. And this mission serves as a precursor to future autonomous docking systems capable of operating without satellites based navigation data. So, here we can see that we had used different navigation system, sen uh, sensor system, so that it can tell us the correct measurement and correct positioning and later we are also planning that without these kind of navigation data we are able to make it successful. So, coming to the question part. What is the primary advantage of the processor used in ISRO's docking mechanism? It relies solely on the ground based navigation data. It allows autonomous docking without satellite based navigation data. It conforms to international standards like IDSS. It is used exclusively for the deep space mission. So, this is very easy one. You can answer into the comment section. I ho hope you like this session. If you have any queries later to the session, kindly ask into the comment section. And there are high chances that in prelims examination, they can ask the features and what are the peculiarities of the Spardex mission, what is docking system, what is rendezvous, what is uh, different kind of navigation system, uh, laser navigation and laser uh, sensors. So, these uh, are the small keywords which is, has been associated with this particular Spardex mission. They can ask the name of the two uh, spacecrafts also and who has launched this Spardex mission, which institution has uh, collaborated with ISRO. India has become fourth or fifth country. So, you should know the ranking also. You should know the year also if it's possible. So, these all things are very much important for a prelims examination. So, thank you. Have a nice day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.